USMLE step one is changing to pass fail, and that's the talk of all the medical student message boards. I'm sure what medical students are thinking about is, what does this mean for me? Should I be changing my strategy? The short answer is no. I'm Dr. Christopher Semino, Vice President and Chief Medical Officer of Kaplan Medical. Now, why do I say so clearly no? There's a couple of reasons. First of all, think about the practical implications of the timeline. If you're planning on being in the match uh, in 2023, then there's a schedule you've got to follow to get your test done. And for most U.S. medical students, that means sometime around May of 2021, well before any possible change. So you're going to be studying for a numeric test. Uh, even if we look at students who are going to be graduating in 2024, they haven't arrived yet. They're coming this fall. But even for them, most of them are going to be taking their test sometime after the proposed deadline. But it's not a firm deadline. We'll come back to that in a second. What about international medical graduates? They don't have a specific schedule, but there is a set amount of time they need to prepare for each test. In our experience, that's anywhere from 12 to 18 months for step one and six to 10 months for step two. That defines a kind of schedule. It doesn't really help to spread out and take longer to delay to take your test if that's what you think is gonna help you. Because many students, the longer they study, they reach a point where they plateau and then their score starts to go down. Likewise, it doesn't make sense to cut short your studying because that's not gonna help your score either. Now, let's go back to that proposed deadline piece. There's several pieces of uncertainty in this whole announcement. It says, not before January of 2022. There is all sorts of things that can happen that could mean that deadline gets pushed back. And so if you're studying for a pass-fail test and the deadline gets pushed back and you find yourself taking a numeric test, you're gonna be in trouble. On the other hand, if you're studying for numeric test and then the time arrives and you find you're taking a pass-fail test, well, you're gonna be in good shape. So the strategy is prepare for a numeric test, aim for a high score. If you end up taking a pass-fail test and that's what you wanted, that's great. There's a very small number of students at some medical schools that take the test off cycle from everybody else. At some schools, this is in the third year. So for those students, the class of 2023 will be looking at this decision. In other schools, it's in the 18 month, in the middle of the second year. And so some students in the class of 2024 may be taking a numeric test. But again, until we know for sure when this is happening, it doesn't make sense to change your strategy. Now there's another big unknown. This is just one change in the proposed changes to the residency match. The other change is recommendations coming from the Coalition for Physician Accountability. Overall, these changes are meant to improve the match, reduce some of the competitiveness, and take some of the stress out of the process. But we don't know what those recommendations are, and we don't know when those recommendations will come. They will have a big impact on what the meaning of the pass-fail step one test means. It has to be taken in that context. So what do we think is going to happen? Well, first of all, I'm guessing that sometime this summer, the National Board will make another announcement. They haven't confirmed even the other two changes, the number of attempts allowed and the requirement to take step one before step two CS. They've only proposed likely dates of change for next year, 2021. So they need to make another announcement to either confirm or delay that. My guess is if that the coalition makes their recommendations public, that that will help guide what NBME announces in the summer. Then they're likely to make another announcement next February. Their governing board meets every February and that's when major decisions like this are made. And so that's when they'll probably decide either to confirm or delay the change in step one pass fail. Now the recommendations that come out are gonna shift attention to other means of assessing students if step one is pass fail. What those are will have a dramatic impact on how people prepare for the test. But the reality is right now we live in a world where step one has importance. Now no one, including me, would say that the score makes you a better physician. But everyone would probably say 
The score helps determine your career outcome. That's the world we're living in. That's the world you should be preparing for, at least if you're going into the 2023 match. And that's what Kaplan is here to help you with, advance your career. When that changes, we'll be prepared to help you with whatever the new focus is, because that's what we do. That's what our experience has been. Our mission is building successful futures, one success story at a time. And we're here for you. Good luck in your studies.